is a great honor for me to receive the Shaw Prize in Astronomy 2022, jointly with my colleague and friend Michael Perriman. I am deeply grateful to the Shaw Prize Foundation and the Selection Committee for this wonderful recognition of our work. My fascination with space and astronomy was triggered in 1957, when at the age of seven, I heard the news of the first satellite launched into orbit, Sputnik 1. I remember building rockets out of paper and cardboard tubes, collecting newspaper clippings, and reading every book on the subject I could find. As I grew older, my parents encouraged my interest in science and gave me a small telescope and a microscope. My father was a photographer and gave me some old cameras, which I disassembled and tried to attach to the telescope. This gave me my first lessons in optics. Another interest was meteorology, where for several years I kept meticulous recordings of the daily weather conditions, temperature and air pressure. My ambition at that point was to become a meteorologist. At university, I studied mathematics and physics. On my third year, I took an optional course in astronomy, which made me realize that this is what I really wanted to do. As a young PhD student in Lund, I met Erik Hög from Copenhagen University, who became my mentor and future colleague. In 1976, he prompted me to apply as a member of a new study team set up by the European Space Agency to study a possible space astrometry mission. From that time on, I have been constantly involved in various ways, first in the Hipparchos mission and then Gaia. During much of this time, Michael Perriman and Eric Hög have been two of my closest associates. It has been an extremely interesting, intense and rewarding journey to follow and to be able to contribute to these fantastic missions all the way from their beginnings to scientific fruition. It has been a great privilege to have worked with so many brilliant and dedicated astronomers, engineers and data specialists. To all of these people, to my partner Mikael, who has been my constant support over more than 35 years, and of course to the Shaw Prize Foundation, I say thank you.